Hi friends! I hope you had a wonderful Valentine's Day. Um, today we are going to look again at an open telemark. I had someone request another video on this. Um, I'll try to make this succinct. I know not everyone has a half an hour to sit and watch a dance video. And so we'll include some good nuggets. We'll go over the uh, man's part first and some suggestions to make that better. We'll go over the ladies part in the second half of the video and give ladies some suggestions to help that look and feel better. So again, this is an open telemark. This is a silver figure in International Waltz. So, men. And I'll show from different angles, uh, and I'll repeatedly show it, so if you don't catch it on the first round, don't worry. Easiest start is going to be diagonal center. We're going to go forward on the left heel with turnout. Go around the girl with wide legs and turn in as much as possible with the right foot. And then we'll Downline of dance in promenade position. So uh, an example of choreography that would be really easy to do would be like a natural spin turn into second half of reverse turn, open telemark, chasse to close. Okay. So I'll go over heels and toes again, and this time. Uh, I'll pretend this is my line of dance. I'm coming at you. This is diagonal center. Heel, toe, toe. Okay. Rise and fall. It's going to be an early rise. Um, and so think of striking with your right foot early. So I'll show it again coming at you. Heel, toe. We really want to whip around the lady. Uh, as lady, this is a hard lead to feel, so the earlier, the better. So this is going to feel a little bit like leading a double reverse. As a matter of fact, a little cheat I use when I'm leading, instead of going one, two, go one and two. So the beat she would strike, one and three. Okay, I'll show that again. Uh, this time I'll go this way. So this is my new diagonal center. One and three. Okay. Heel, toe, toe. I have another little cheat for man. I call it a heel swivel. I know this isn't an ICD book, but it's really effective. Most men overshoot the target here, and for lady, this feels like you're just leading out a reverse turn. So, when you finish that second half reverse turn or whatever figure you're putting before your open telemark, the first step of the open telemark, do it in place. Think of doing it in place. And swivel on the heel. So, right heel, swivel only on the heel. And then rise to a toe. Uh, the momentum of the waltz, you kind of always want to go down line of dance. So, if you don't think about stopping that momentum, um, you're not going to be able to lead a heel turn effectively, okay? Um, final suggestion for men is going to be on the top line. And let me grab a prop. Here's my lady, okay? So my big complaint with lady is he pulls me around. He squeezes me with that right hand, okay? So regardless of what pattern you're doing in your standard dances, you want to give a consistent top line to the lady. So I'll show good and then bad. So good, if I'm heading this way, would be elbows consistent. So I'm going out, bend. This is a space for my girl. Forward, block, forward. So if you slow that down, maybe no movement up here. This is bad. Forward, squeeze. And then you finish your promenade with your shoulder in her face and your elbow behind your back. I don't want to ride side battle as lady. I want to be in front of you. It's my job to stay left. It's not your job to help me stay left, okay? So that'll feel much better for a girl. So think about um, leading her with a consistent. 
consistent top line. I'll show that again. Um, this time I'll go a different angle just so you can see that. Consistent top line. And then back. Leave it. Oh, she's not coming fast enough. I'm going to pull her. Okay. As lady, I am following. So by definition, I'm always going to be slightly later than you. So our little cheat to leading early where she receives an early lead and responds lightly on her own is going to be the one and. And we're striking on that and on the right toe. Wide legs like you're riding a Clydesdale with turn in. Okay. So now I'm going to cover the ladies' parts. Put my prop away. So, ladies, usually this thing starts by center. So my footwork totally different than the man's. I'm going to step back with turn in on my right toe. I'm going to do a heel turn just like a double reverse. So I'm going to spin on half on my right heel, half back on my left heel. I'm going to rise up in promenade position and do a press out. The beat values for me will be one, two, three. Now that's kind of mechanical, but I just want you to understand what you're doing. Okay, so ladies, let me show that from a couple of different angles. So, one, we turn in. Two, make sure the balls and feet are together. And three, comes out in promenade position. Okay, I'll show that from another angle. One, two, three. Okay, our step size leads. Small, no step at all, the feet are closed and then you'll turn. And the third step is small too because you're inside of the turn. He's got to get way around you. So if you take a long step, he can only go so big. You're going to end up in an awkward position. A little uh, cheat I use as lady to make this easier for the man is think about back leading the heel turn. Okay, You are usually less muscular than him and lighter than him. So he has a hard time feeling your center. And if you run away, it's even harder for him to lead this thing. So as soon as I feel that here, I'm, oh, I, this is a tight turn, early rise. I know this is a heel turn. I'm going to crank this puppy around. Very aggressive using my right hip and my right rib. And then I'll take my time coming out. This will look more musical too. So instead of being a methodical one, two, three, it'll be one and two, three, and. So I'm gonna delay actually my prep out ideally. Um, but the important thing for lady, I'm really strongly rotating, putting my right hip and my right rib into him. Final request ladies, um, actually two requests. Number one, we tend to outstep our partner on the prep. And once you get in front of him, he's gonna start squeezing you with the arm. So, make sure when you, anytime you edit, Take this step small and behind him. It's okay if it's even too small. If you outstep your base, you're going to lose your shape and you're going to lose your center to him. So tiny. If you step too small, no biggie. You can make it up with a big swing on the next step. So don't worry about that. And then ladies, let's talk about our head for a second. Um, we've got a lot of questions about ladies' head. So ideally, you don't want to turn everything as a unit, as one. I will show what that looks like. One, two, three. You want to delay turning your head. So that's move like this. One, two, three, and. And I don't really complete my promenade position with the head until I'm stepping out into whatever comes next. As lady, you know this is going to be followed by something that comes forward on your left heel on promenade. Probably a chasse. Um, so. Hopefully those have been some helpful nuggets for you guys. Um, if you like the content, subscribe to my channel um, or push the bell if you want to get a little notification the next time I post a video. If you have questions, put them in the comments. Um, this video is in response to someone else's comment on another video. So 
Anyway, hope this has been some helpful nuggets. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye, guys.